So we just found the closer, complete one to five. Yeah, I think there's maybe eight or nine in that to complete it. Mm -hmm. But I think eight or nine goes for a hundred. So that would probably be good like 60, 70. Yeah, maybe 40, 50, I reckon, mm. just because it's a partial set. Yeah. So that's definitely a big win. Yeah. Who's that? I think that's the Sydney Roosters. I think that's the Roosters. <coughs> mm. Sydney Roosters in the NRL, size large. I think kids like? Um, no. Men's. That'd be men's. Hmm. How can we do that? This is something you want to find though. Game of Thrones. One to seven. One to seven, no price. That's this one does good. I think I've done that before. Alien Quadrilogy. Yeah. That should do all right. <coughs> Lord of the Rings. We sold that on Blu-ray. It'll probably go well on DVD. Under the Dome? I've done that once before. It's not a big one. No? No. Nah, that's not a big one. But depending on how much we can get it for, we might just do it. They're all box sets. Yeah. Oh, that's good. How many seasons is that? One, two, three, and four. Box set. Just want to comp up a few of these because mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like these two are the best. That one and that one. Game of Thrones, we just looked at one to eight, remember? Yeah, Game of Thrones will definitely do, but I think Beauty and the Beast we can do. Season three, so season one, season three. So it looks like it's not eight. really that worth it. Yeah. So we'll leave that one. Alien Quadrilogy, definitely. Yeah. <coughs> Lord of the Rings. And then, yeah, Lord of the Rings. Trilogy. So we're not looking at any of those because it's not a direct match. Mm. I scanned it only brought up one. How much was it? Eighteen dollars. Eighteen? Yeah. I think based on that we might leave that. Yeah. Um, but definitely those, two. those three, that's a good find. And then we've got this one as well. Not bad. So that was really good. Um, we've got obviously a $30 purchase on everything there. And Game of Thrones 1 to 7, while it isn't complete, we know that that sells for about 80 or 90 if it is. So I'll account for maybe $60 on Game of Thrones and then everything else is going to be profit after that. So get down to, what is it, uh, Vinnie's. Vinnie's in Chugan. $30 grab to pick our day up. Now guys, we've been doing some research. Doing some research on men's clothing brands that we hope to find when we're out in the thrifts. This is what we're going to be looking for today. Icebreaker, the brand sells for 273%. Arcteryx, that sells for 138% sell-through rate. Uh, we've also got Patagonia, Lululemon, Carhartt, and MacPack. These are six brands of men's clothing that if you find in any thrift store, you must buy it because it sells really, really well. Now, MacPack is a New Zealand brand. Carhartt is a tough one for us to find over here in Australia, um, but it's a heavy US brand. Um, so anyone over in the US should be picking up Carhartt. But um, we're going to try and find all of this stuff today. There's only 34 listings on eBay for the brand Icebreaker, but there's 93 sales. So that is a monster for men's clothing. I just thought we'd add this into the video. It's gonna be in the back of our minds when we're looking through all of these stores today. Hopefully we can find some of these brands because if we do, we know that they're gonna sell quick.
Vai. James Harden. It's a James Harden basketball shoe. The soles, it's a bit worn up there, but that sole there is pretty good. The size is a nine. That'd be like two dollars. I don't think we need it. Oh, two bucks. Oh, really? I think if we were to wash them, there's no fabric tears or anything. Mm -hmm. The other one, it's in pretty good condition too. How do you know to do? Oh. All shoes. Two bucks. It's the first time I've ever found shoes in this store. Because mm. they go really quick. Look at that. Mine off. They do all look pretty worn. Yeah. But that's a good one. Did you know this is a really rare Mario? Because he's got the white hat. Really? He can come through. No, no, no. Stop selling a dollar. The kids' oh. clothes. Oh, oh really? The, have you been in here before? Yeah, once before. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And all of the clothes are two dollars unless otherwise marked. Epic. All the shoes are two dollars unless and like cups and mugs and stuff and glasses are like five for a dollar. It's the best store ever. Yeah, so good. I know. It's pretty cool. Amazing. Thank you very much. Um, so this has got Nintendo tags, mm. but there's only one of them. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. No. <laughs> uh -huh. You're telling me to put it away. No, no. <laughs> it's cool. So that is Burley Op Shop. Um, it's arguably the cheapest store, I think, probably on the Gold Coast. Yeah. Um, the shop attendant there just said that it was never going to change either. They're always going to keep their prices low. So no matter when you're watching this, cheapest on the Gold Coast if you're ever in town. Um, I grabbed these. There was no of the six clothing brands that we're looking for today, but I did find these Nike dry fit shorts. They're a size medium. I might be able to squeeze into them. They're literally like new. Um, you could resell these for like $30 odd on eBay, um, but I do a lot of running, so I'm probably just gonna buy them for myself, and they're only two bucks. Um, we also got the James Harden basketball shoes. I reckon we can convert them into about $40. Because of buying them for $2, I think it's worth it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just the two items there, but to have only paid $4. So good. Ridiculous. Now, unfortunately, there was some copyright issues with the music playing in the background of this thrift store, so you've got voiceover Matt for the next minute. I've just ju jumped into the jeans section here of this uh, clothing area, and I've come across a couple of really good brands that you guys need to be on the lookout for. The first one that I've got here is New. N-E-U-W on the tag. Um, this one here, it's a size 34, 34. So 34 waist, 34 length. You can typically get around 40 to $45 for this brand. I went with the generous comp of 35 because this pair had a little stain there, uh, as you can see. So no tears, but there is that fabric stain. So I'd love to know in the comments, um, what do you guys use to get out those stains uh, out of the jeans? Um, because I have gone ahead and I've bought those. Um, this is another excellent brand. We've got nudie jeans. Um, so $12. This one can easily turn into $70 to $100 worth of an average sale price. Um, so definitely pick that up. I found a second pair of new. Um, just a different style of jean here with this one, but the new brand will always do well no matter which style it is. Um, so that was $12. No stains on that one. Excellent condition. Uh, and I've actually found a fourth pair. Believe it or not here, I've got another second pair of nudie jeans, $70 to $100 worth of an average sale price. So um, all up there, those four jeans cost me $46. I ended up buying all of them. Um, but yeah, new, nudie, two very, very good pairs of men's brand uh, uh, jeans, but they weren't on the list of the top five for sell-through rate. Sell-through rate, if you're curious on these jeans, are more about 60 to 70%, uh, which is still a great number and I recommend buying. Got the famous Milton Mango button-up shirt, size medium, five bucks. It's a shame it doesn't fit. Yeah. Do you know what a Milton Mango is? Beer, isn't it? Do you know what beer? No. Forex. Oh yeah. I was like, it looks like a Forex, but. Forex, the Milton Mango. That would actually probably do well. Yeah. Scotland. Scotland rugby nations. Sports? Mm, mm, no, but you know sports better than me. Yeah, I'm probably probably a no. No. 
Fortunately, we just noticed there's a big tear in it. Mm. But these things can sell for upwards of 200 bucks. Yeah. So that would have been worth the grab, but clearly they've marked it at um, $40 because of that tear, which is a real shame. Because mm. that is a very nice jacket. But yeah, there you go. That's a tag you want to be finding. BMW Motorrad. We've only ever found at most one item in this store. So let's see how we go. $40. These are a great clean pair of shoes. So these are like the other shoes we found in the other store, but they're a big size 13. We might have to do that. Is it Skechers? No, it's Asics. Oh, I thought they said Skechers. Asics Gel Kayano. They're huge. That's a really good sign. Size, mm -hmm. size 13. I mean, we'll get a good sale. Because mm -hmm. they're tough, tough to find for people out there. And they're plain black, so people will wear them for like work. Mm -hmm. um, you can get away with work. Mm -hmm. Workwear, so really happy with that. This is can be a good brand. Vija. Mm. I don't think we'll get them, but it can be good. Scarpa. This is a great brand. I've got it priced at sixty dollars, <laughs> but that is a brand there that you guys should be looking for as well. Mm. And even got the box as well. There might be some retail pricing. Not just sixty. I mean, that can be like a $260 boot. Mm. Makes sense that they've got a price for 60 in store. Um, fairly small store, this one. Yeah. Star Wars Complete Collection Books. Mm. $5. That could be good. Couple of thirty fives? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, so I think we'll grab that and that. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, they want, they want $29.50. Every single episode of Thrones. I'm going to just check to see what that's worth. A replacement remote for the Panasonic TV. So the best sale price is 100. And there's quite a number of them around that 80 to $100 price point. And then we hit the one to sevens, one to sixes. There's a lot of sales. $80, you could easily list this up for. So 30 into 80. Shipping would be medium satchel, like 12 to $15. Um, so yeah, I think we do it. Do you reckon? I oh know it sucks to pay 29, I don't know why it's 29.50. Here's another item that I deliberated on as well. We've got the Asics Gel Light 3. Um, these gel lights always actually do decently well. I was pretty interested to see what the comps were going to look like because they were a $20 purchase price in store. So a little bit steep for what I normally like to pay for a pair of shoes. But as you can see here, when we do our comp research, there are some certain colorways that can go for well into the hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Um, but a typical average sale price on these shoes is going to be more lower end, around $60 to $80. There was a bit of a blemish though. As you can see here, um, there were some, just some tears on the inner, I guess the inner heel of the shoe. So um, for that reason, I just thought it might have diminished the price even more so. So $20 into $50 at most. I don't know. I just didn't think it was worth it. $40. Um, North Face was North Face was like seventh on the list. Yeah, it was like a 60% sell through rate. It's a good brand, mm -hmm. but not for 40. These are good. Oh, 
Forty-five dollars. Here we go. All right, what do we got here? Twenty-five. No. Um, we've got these footy boots, but they seem a bit small, and they're sixteen. These are good though. Gel Keanu twenty-fives. 25 is probably a bit too steep. And then we've sold these a hundred times over. These are the Nike Pegasus. Now the Zoom Pegasus 36, $30. I had a pair of docks in the back cabinet for a hundred bucks. So we had to say no to that. Um, there was a Nixon watch though. It was called the Siren, Tropical Gangster. It was $30. I was thinking about it for myself again, for the personal. I don't really buy a lot of personal stuff, but that was a pretty cool watch for $30. I reckon if the recommended retail is over 150, I'll go back and buy it. Mm. I don't know what it is. We've got to research the comps, but yeah. Um, yeah, just Game of Thrones. Not too bad though. That'll do well. Oh, this could be good. Thirty dollars. Thirty. It says player gear. Double XL. Thirty bucks. Very genuine. Just don't know how much that sort of thing would sell for. Can I um, have a look? It's a Wallabies. <coughs> Wallabies windbreaker. Wallabies. Not an exact match, but you're probably looking at maybe 50 to 60. Mm. <clears throat> so 30, it's probably a bit too much, unfortunately. An Atari flashback eight. Came in today. Mm. Controllers. Looks like it's complete. It's got the box too, which is good. Hmm. 49. 49, yeah. And then that goes with us, just lighting. We'll take it with us and we'll have a look. Oh, is that a, um, a G-Shop? Law, Loris. Never. Oh, have you heard of Loris before? No. I've heard of G-Shot. Yeah, what's that up there? Blue, it says Blue Planet. We'll just leave it. Mm. Watches can do really well though. Yeah, g shot G-Shocks especially, but watches in general. <coughs> um, so, an Atari Flashback 8. Oh, hello there. How you going? That's the way. Oh, I have. The AFL I've been watching. Uh, Brisbane Lions. I do. Maybe Sydney, they play pretty well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Brizzy Lions. Yeah, I'm not a Lions fan. Who are you? Swans. Swans? And then Collingwood. Could be me versus you. But I'm all NRL though. Ah, okay. But I do follow AFL. Yeah, nice. Because I like Nah, I love the footy. This sells for 65.70. Not for 49. Can't do much about that at 49. No. I'm going to Vietnam. We've been on holidays, everyone. Courtney's off. Off to Vietnam. A couple of weeks time, yeah? Yeah, in three weeks. Oh, no, a couple of weeks for two weeks. Uh, so we're at my Saigon Tuck Shop. Vietnamese cuisine. Do you reckon this would be better than what you're going to find over there? I think it will be very on par. On par, because this place is the best place for lunch on the Gold Coast. Yeah. And Peter, who runs the place, he's right here. 
Whoa, oh. he normally is. There he is. Yeah, hello. Yeah, there he is. You're hiding, yeah. Peter, you're in the video. Do you want to say hi? Hello. <laughs> I think Peter might be doing a bit of flipping himself, actually, because that looks like a piece of furniture. It looks like a couch over there. He might be selling some weights. I'll have to ask him about that, if he is. Yeah. That stuff does, that actually looks like it could be worth a bit of money. Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what a find. How Very good. good. <laughs> That's epic. This is unreal. So, guys, this is moonlighting on DVD that Maddie's gone out and found in the thrift. Uh, DVD goes for upwards of $250 to $300. Crazy. You didn't know that, did no, you? No, I didn't. Didn't know it, I but he was. It was 10 bucks. Yeah, we pay 10. <laughs> yeah, did. Pay 10 for this thing. We've got a video of Matty finding this that he sent through to me, and he said you can whack it into the video, so we will show that. Uh, I think this might be a diamond in the rough. Uh, Matty will let us know. Uh, complete series um, one to five. Uh, that's about it. We're up at Mount Tambourine uh, RSPCA op shop. But yeah. I think Maddie will be able to help us with it, how much this one will be. It is a region two though, um, so that means it plays in Europe, okay. um, like uh, England and, and Japan, I think. Overseas, sir. Overseas. So we'll put it up for international as well, but if you've got a region free player, that obviously works too. But um, we're going to do this on consignment. So basically a 50% share of the profit after fees and post. And with a 250 sale price, it's about 80 odd bucks each. I was going to give it to you until I found out how much yeah. it was worth. Yeah, he goes, he goes, how much is it worth? I said, it's about two to 300 bucks. He goes, well, maybe we take a cut yeah. in it. <laughs> but uh, this is a ridiculous find. It is. Unreal. And this was up in Mount Tambourine, so about up a 30 odd, drive. yeah, 30 odd minute drive away. With my client, so I was getting, I'm getting paid to do it and I'm going to get paid for that as well. And so are you. It's insane. Good. Yeah, we'll, we'll list this up pretty much this afternoon and um, we'll probably go 250 on it. I actually had a look and the cheapest listing right now for it is 250, but there's people trying to sell it for $800. What? Yeah. Uh, they won't get that. No, no way in the world. So yeah. we'll come in around <laughs> 275, maybe 250. Easy. And we'll probably get the sale pretty quick, I'd say, too. You're the, you're the, you're the professional, mate. Thank you. <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> so it wasn't the only stuff that we found over the last few days. If you have a look at all of this stuff here, this is everything that I found yesterday that I haven't actually pulled out of the car. Now, I didn't film any of it, but I thought I'd just quickly show you guys. Um, this here is a bunch of women's Nike Pro, or Nike um, Dry Fit, I should say. They're women's extra large. I thought they might have been men's, but they're actually women's. And they're all the same size. They're just different colors. So there's one, two, three, and then four. And we got them all for $3 each. So 12 bucks in. We're actually going to list them up for $20 each, but we'll do it as a group listing because they're the same price. Uh, sorry, the same size. Um, so we're actually going to go with $100, $100 or maybe $80. Probably $80 because uh, $20 each, that'd be You're 80. missing one. Is there? Oh, yeah. There we go, that's why I was 100. Yeah. They're actually probably my favourite. I like all of them, I wish I my size. Yeah, extra large is pretty large. Yeah. But I, I do think with five pairs all being the same size, we can get 100. Yeah. These guys, have, have a look at this. We've had no water. Yeah, but this has been going on for like a week and a half. Mm. It's been going on for a long time. Yeah. And today we haven't had water. Yeah. <laughs> uh, without notice. Maybe there's a note in the letterbox, but mm. I, didn't, I didn't know we were going to be without water today. Um, we've got some Hoka Clifton 9s. These are a really, really good pair of shoes. Um, they're a size 6 women's. Um, there's a little bit of wear there, but it's nothing too hectic to not go ahead with the purchase. But they're very, very clean. I think they'll sell well. We should probably get about $80. Um, I've got this as well. This is an amazing women's clothing brand that I'd never heard of. I paid $4 for it, and I don't buy women's clothing. That's how good it was. Victoria and Woods. So I thought that was really nice. Very, very high-end brand. Um, we should be able to get, what, what do you reckon on that? 40... 40 odd? 50. 40, 50? Yeah. Not bad when you're paying four, four odd yeah. dollars. Um, so I had to do that. We've got these as well. We've done really well with the jeans today, mm. but we also did well yesterday. These are the Arc 3D Slim from G-Star Raw. So there it is there, Arc 3D Slim, but the size as well on these is really quite good. It's a size 32, 34. Um, no real blemishes or anything on these. 
just a really, really nice pair of jeans. And I've sold the Arc 3D Slim so many times before, around about that $50 price point. Um, so that was $10 in store. So that was a good deal. And then I've just got a bunch of different book sets. So I've got the Twilight Saga. I paid $10 for that book set. That was quite good. Um, I've got the Divergent series from Veronica Roth. That was $10 as well. These are all $10 all out of the same store. Um, we should be able to get about $40 to $50 for this. This is the Charlene Harris um, Sookie Stackhouse mm. Novels series. Um, big book sets like this do pretty well for us. Um, it's a bit like the DVDs. You just want to be getting the complete sets. I've got the Hunger Games. I think that was going on memory for about $30 odd dollars. Um, so a big book set of three there for that. And then I've got this, which I've never come across before. It's our Australian girl. Our Australian girl. Mm. Huge comps if you've got a lot of these books. And we've got four of them, Ruby, Alice, Nellie and Grace. Um, so I think the comps were well over $100 if you had quite a few. Mm. Um, but because we've got four, what do you think we'll list them up for? 68 about 50, 60 yeah 50 to 60 yeah so you know you're talking 10 to 15 dollars a book there for this series yeah um we only pay three dollars each so we were 12 dollars in to a 50 to 60 dollar sale price maybe put them in a box for maybe 12 to 15 dollars mm. so there it is there some more clothing some more books and a, and a pair of shoes to add on top of obviously everything that we're able to find today now having a look at our numbers for the week and I guess for the month as well, we're doing pretty well. We're sitting on $3,956. So that's an average of $376 a day. And we're trying to average $366 a day. So we're $10, we're $100 for the month above where we want to be, Courtney. Mm. Um, I've also put up another little note around some goals that we've got to try and round out this year. So we've got like three or four months left in the year. How do we want to see it look by the end of it? We want to try and have a thousand active listings in our store and we've got 1100 at the moment. Um, so I actually want to kind of condense it by another hundred listings and whether that's reducing the smaller average sale price or the poor sell through rate stock to get us down there or to just try and sell more than we're actually listing which will bring it down naturally as well. Either or, I want to end at around hundred listings and then try and work off that. But I want to grow our sales which is sitting at 690 sales over a 90 day period, I wanna actually grow that up to 900 sales. So growing it up to 900, reducing the store down to 1,000, what it will mean is we're basically listing 10 a day and we're selling 10 a day. Uh, and if we can be averaging a $40 average sale price, which we are currently, um, that'll give us about a $400 sales day, um, yeah, every single day, which would be a dream. That'd be an awesome eBay store to have a $40 ASP, list 10, sell 10. So that's the goal. That's where the numbers are sitting at the moment. It was a big $640 day yesterday. We've got, I think it's seven sales to take you guys through for a little bit of a what sold. Um, so we'll kick it off with the first one, which is over here. Uh, this one, we're, we're going to rank them from the cheapest all the way up to the most expensive, I reckon, Courtney. I think that's the mm -hmm. nicest way to film. Um, we've got a Goosebumps tin here. Now, this is actually a book tin. Um, that we found in a thrift store. It had a bunch of Goosebump books in it when we found it in the thrift, um, but we've actually taken those books out and we combined them with some other Goosebump books that we had that were vintage as well, and we've just sold the tin on its own. It did sit in store for quite a while. It's probably not something I would bother to, to list up individually again. Um, reason being is it only sold for $18. Uh, so an $18 sale price and bubble wrap put into a small satchel. We'll probably put some um, butcher's paper yeah. into it just to fill it out. Um, so it doesn't get crushed. But 18 bucks for that, small satchel, it's not gonna make us a lot of money. It's the first sale of the day. The next one here is the Supernatural Complete Series 1 to 9. That's not complete though. No. <laughs> but 1 to 9 complete. And we actually, not sure what happened here, but we only got a $29 sale price. So whenever we listed it, whether we've made a typo, well, we definitely made a typo, but we could have got around 60 to 70 for that. So a little bit of an error there. That's also gonna go into a box for 12 to $15, depending where it's going. So we're gonna break even on that. Not really a win, but complete series. It's a good show. Good. Yeah. Supernatural is a great show and you'll actually see the reason why it's a great show a little bit later in this What's Old. Mm. They continue to be our best sellers, Blu-rays and DVDs, guys. And if you're looking for another category, video games. That makes up about 50% of what we sell. Uh, and this one was a Blu-ray. 
sale. We had Lord of the Rings. We got the trilogy set right here. All three movies. I think there's only three movies of Lord of the Rings. Mm. I'm not a Lord of the Rings fan. Mm. Are you? I don't mind it, actually. Mm, I, you know, I'm not a big fan of Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter. I think I've said it on the channel before. It's not my cup of tea. Mm. But it was for somebody out there because I paid $33 to get their hands on this. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put it into a small satchel with some bubble wrap. So nice and simple, good bread and butter winner. Lord of the Rings, even Harry Potter, I think so, sells for about 40. Yeah. Um, pretty standard one that we've sold a number of times as well. So the big movies out there do sell well as bundles. Another DVD set, Buffy. And actually very similar to what I just talked about. So must have been having a rough day or something. But this was another undersell because Buffy, actually what I thought was it was half set because it was season one to seven but i thought one to 22 was the first half of the episodes and i swear i saw there was a listing for 22 episodes to something else to complete it so i actually thought that was half a half a season of each of them but turns out that actually the season one is half of one one to 12 mm. and 12 to 22 i guess makes it a complete season like alone um so a little bit of a Confusing one here. We got a $35 sale price for it, but we could have got about a $55, $60. dollars So it is a little bit confusing um, because they've wrote um, episodes there. You can see how it says episodes 1 to 22. Yeah. Um, so if you are confused like Courtney was with this one, a really, really quick, simple Google search, I reckon, would just be able to confirm how many episodes are in each season. Mm. Um, and we would have seen there, and or even other listings on eBay. <laughs> Um, with the comps that we were looking at, easily able to reference those photos. Then we can see how many listings are complete. Mm. And then this goes up for its full asking price of, of 60 bucks. But, you know, how many seasons? Seven seasons of that show. It'll go into a medium satchel for, for 12. So we might make a couple of dollars profit on that one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a, a little lesson in there for everyone. Another win out of the cameras. The vintage cameras down here that we've got listed up. We've sold... The Canon QL, this QL Canonette QL25, uh, and it came with the old original Canon QL um, camera case as well. So uh, vintage camera that we've sold for $61. Uh, so pretty damn good considering that we are now in the profit with this tub. So that $61 is gonna be all profit after fees and postage. Uh, so that's excellent. Um, so much so that I've actually even received an email from a, which you don't know about this, Courtney, mm. um, got a text message from somebody that I bought off two years ago. And she said, I've got a bunch of cameras that were in the family for many, many years and we're needing to get rid of them. Would you like to buy them off me? I can send you an email with a list of all of the different uh, cameras and accessories and lenses. And I said, yeah, I mean, based on these vintage cameras doing well, I thought this could be a cool category to focus on a little bit more. Mm. Um, great average sale price too, right? Um, so this is confirmed for a $350 purchase um, without offering. She said, hey, this whole list would be $350, take it or leave it type thing. Um, and it looks like there's going to be some really, really big money coming in. There's a, I think it's a Pentax K1000 um, and that's worth $300 alone. And there's probably about 15 or 20 items on the list. So a huge haul in cameras likely to come through maybe at the end of this week. Um, and I'll probably turn the camera on and show you that purchase and show you all the goods in the camera gear. Um, but this is a really great category to, to focus on selling and the vintage stuff does really well too. So 61 bucks, Courtney's gonna put it into a box. Uh, again, just the standard process of bubble wrap and butcher's paper, like we always do for our shipping. Vintage cameras, it's a good category. All right, back to another Supernatural. This is the actual complete one to 15, so the full season set. We actually got this um, from a hoarder. Waterhouse. Waterhouse. Um, a long time ago, I can't remember. No, it was actually a couple of weeks ago. I was out oh, there. there you go. I'm having a day. <laughs> and we got, this is the second time we sold this actually, but we got a $150 sale price for this. Um, and this will go into a box for about $15. Um, yeah, I feel like you see Supernatural in the shops quite a bit. So, well. so But to get common. it complete, maybe a bit harder. Tough to find anything over season 10. Yeah. Um, a bit like any DVD set that you find, it's always those later TV series that are harder to find than the one to one to five you'd see a whole lot of. Yeah. Um, but if you continue to find them as you go and you can build up a, up a complete set like this, $150, I paid no more than about 50 cents each. So we're talking $7.50 
for a hundred and fifty dollar sale price, take off the fees and the post, you know, you're talking almost a hundred dollars in true profit there. So, a big TV show, a common TV show, make sure you're looking out for it. Um, now, I don't know if anyone's aware of this, but uh, the eBay store for us is called the House of Mumba, and that refers to Kobe Bryant's Black Mumba, um, which I'm just a massive Kobe fan. Absolutely love the guy. Um, watches YouTube highlights all the time. I listen to his mindset motivation videos on YouTube all the time as well. Um, named the store after him as well. So um, this is 100% my favorite thing to find when I'm out in a thrift store because of that connection with Kobe. And it is a pair of his basketball shoes. We've got the Kobe's here. Not 100% sure what the exact model number is of this Kobe. Um, but the comps were on eBay were going really, really high between maybe $250, I think, to $300. These are in excellent condition. And pretty much any Kobe Bryant shoe is, is found with this logo. That's his logo right there. That's probably the biggest thing to talk about. If you see that logo on a pair of Nike shoes, that is a Kobe Bryant basketball shoe. Now, this one here was a US 10 and a half. So it's actually a great size of basketball shoe as well. I had a message yesterday uh, come through and I bought these actually, I should say, first of all, probably about two weeks ago in a thrift store and we paid $20. So it was a ridiculous fine because the Kobe's are always 50, 60, 70 in store um, and we found them for just 20. Um, we had a member, uh, sorry, a, um, a, well, a member of eBay messages and they said, would you do $250 as a best offer because I had them listed up for $275. Uh, so I said, yes, absolutely. What that will mean is they'll go through an eBay authentication. Um, <coughs> so any shoe over $150 in value goes through eBay authenticity. Um, so they'll, hand, they'll literally hand check to make sure that it's authentic and then they will on send it to the buyer. Um, so you'll get the delivery address details of eBay authentication and then from there, eBay takes care of the final fulfillment to the customer. So that's just a standard process with shoes over $150. So these shoes will go through that process, but to buy it for 20, to know that they are genuine um, and, and be able to sell them for $250, no doubt it will be with another few hours left in the day. Um, it's gonna be definitely our best sale of the last 24 hours, one to definitely look out for. So including the Moonlight DVD, all up today we were able to find $935 worth of value for eBay and we only paid $134.50 to get our hands on it. All of that will be listed up onto eBay today. We we're very, very adamant about listing up our stock straight away, but a few sales along the way, some more listings to go up in store. Things are just ticking along nice and smoothly. I'm going to leave you with another thrifting video right here, guys. Appreciate you tuning into this one. We'll see you soon.